Hello, welcome to another video series on firepower threat defense. I'm Nanda Kumar. In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot connection or traffic on firepower threat defense using a firepower management center. We have uh, two options. One is packet tracer, uh, the one is packet capture. I have already made a one video on a packet tracer. So in this video, I'm going to show how uh, the packet capture works. The basic difference between packet tracer and uh, capture is the packet tracer, which will simulate a packet within five or three defense wherein you don't need a live host to generate a traffic whereas the packet capture would capture all the packets that matches a certain matching criteria that you had defined on an interface so once you capture the file uh, packet uh, you can do an uh, troubleshooting with uh, captured packets let's go ahead and then uh, see how this how the packet capture works in order to access a uh, packet capture or the packet treasure you have a uh, two uh, path to access it one is through device device manager and uh, select your respective uh, firepower thread defense in my case this uh, home iphone ftd which is uh, ac5506 running firepower thread defense on the extreme right you have this uh, tool icon which is a uh, troubleshooting uh, option if I click this it goes to it goes to the health monitoring where if I click advanced uh, troubleshooting uh, I can uh, see the packet trace and then the capture with trace option the other uh, path to access uh, these two options are uh, through system health monitoring once you go here, uh, you could see the list of all the devices, all the FIPOTRE defense devices that are managed through this FIPOTRE management center. In my case, I have only one FIPOTRE defense. So I'm going to click on this and then click advanced troubleshooting. There you go. Uh, you get uh, the packet tracer and capture option. So uh, for this video, I'm going to show you the packet. Uh, a packet capture option um, basically you can capture all the packets that come across an in interface so I'm going to define a, a rule say for example here I'm giving a name for this packet capture which is test and then I'm going to choose uh, I have three interfaces: one is outside inside and Wi-Fi I'm going to choose Wi-Fi as my uh, uh, interface where I'm going to run this packet capture I'm going to uh, this is a matching criteria I'm going to we can set a matching grid instead of capturing all the packets on the interface you can uh, filter based on some matching criteria I'm going to uh, specify an IP address uh, which is my host uh, on the Wi-Fi interface on this firepower thread defense uh, destination you can specify if you know the destination IP address or leave it as any um, for this demo I'm going to leave it as any and then the other matching criteria would be SGT uh, uh, tag number so I am not running any SGT so I'm going to leave that as a blank uh, rest of the things like uh, packet size or buffer on the flash uh, you can define here so the other important option is uh, trace uh, you can run this capture uh, without trace or with trace what this difference is um, if without the trace it simply capture all the packets that are seen on the Wi-Fi interface with the matching criteria that's all it does uh, which once you capture the file you can export it uh, um, either view through this uh, win uh, in the on the FMC or export the file and then uh, view it on um, packet capture uh, tool like ethereal or wireshock with this trace option 
it's going to show you each and every packet how the security policy that you defined on the FIPO threat defense like access control policy uh, and NAT routing um, how the inspection are getting an impact on each and every packet which is very similar uh, which I showed it on packet tracer so let's uh, do a first demo without trace and then we'll see with a trace so I'm going to start uh, save this and then start that uh, by saving it is going to also start the traffic uh, sorry capturing the packets as you could see that it, uh, it's already running and then um, uh, it has already captured 20 packets I'm going to say pause so once you pause and then you can either uh, start the traffic again or uh, you can save this to your um, uh, your desktop uh, apart from that you can uh, view all the files um, uh, so far it has captured 135 files and then you can uh, see all the pack, uh, packets um, on this packet trace window okay now let's um, look at uh, I'm going to delete this and then recreate a new packet capture and uh, using a trace we'll see what it, it is going to give us so i'm going to define same thing test iphone wi-fi select the wi-fi interface set source ip as my host ip address and then leave the destination as any i'm going to enable the trace and see what it is going to uh, give me the results running um, it's already captured uh, 13 packets with eight trays I'm going to stop uh, no, or pause the traffic pause the buffer so you, uh, so uh, by the time we passed it it's, it's almost captured uh, 204 uh, packets and um, with these packets it has uh, it is able to trace it 48 trays what that mean is um, let's see that the first packet that uh, you can see here is traffic from 192.168.6.15 with source port as some random number 498.76 to a destination 173.36.7. Um, it could be a, a web browsing um, and on this first packet uh, it has done a trace very similar to what we have seen on the other video packet trace um, it is showing face wise how this is uh, this is uh, either allowed or denied by policy that you have created on five or three defense in the phase one um, uh, it's a it it uh, the capture is taken as a phase one and the phase two it shows access list uh, which uh, which says it is allowed and then uh, phase 3 it is lookup and then it goes uh, inspection and then snort and finally the result says that uh, this packet is allowed similarly on the second and third packet that are seen on this interface which is a reply packet from uh, 192.162.102 which is 443 to 192.168.16.6.15 uh, uh, and then uh, the same uh, there are two packets one is uh, from 6.15 to 2.101 both are uh, belongs to same connection so it has pad up and then um, the trace route uh, trace for this particular packet has been uh, seen here similarly you can see each and every packet and in case if you have any um, problem or any any of your user has reported problem you could use this packet capture to do a troubleshooting so on the format we have raw format and then tree with full and tree with uh, trace only uh, you could use any of this option for uh, change the view so if I use a tree option it's going to list out all the packets um, uh, uh, on a sequential manner uh, which will be easy for me to, to do a troubleshooting so here I can see that um, packet from 6.15 that is 
inside Wi-Fi to an external server and when I expand it's going to show me the trace of um, this this particular packet similarly for other um, packets I can uh, expand the folder and to see the um, uh, see the each face and how it is allowed and if you want more detail I can expand the subfolder of each faces and check uh, Trace it full tree is going to give you even more elaborate uh, results. Uh, so for all the packets, uh, for each and every packet, um, that's all um, on this video about uh, capture uh, capture packet and capture packet with trace. I hope you enjoy the video. We'll have uh, more videos coming on other features on Firepower Threat Defense. I hope you enjoyed. See you. Bye-bye.